Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this presentation of Lakeside Rim Football on Lakeside TV. I'm senior Max Story here with fellow 12th grader Dave LaSalle, and we welcome you to this broadcast of tonight's matchup between your Lakeside Rams and the Texarkana Razorbacks at J.W. Chick Austin Field, presented by our Alliance Bank, National Park College, and Rockstar Wellness Clinic. You know, Mac, the key, the key ways the, to win this game tonight against Texarkana are the defense has to make stops, and they need to emphasize the passing game with those that two-headed uh, two -headed monster at quarterback with Q Jackson and Emerson Collins. Yeah, like you said, David, uh, we run a two-quarterback system here for the ninth grade. Uh, so, yeah, just capitalizing on that will be key for the football game. Yeah, it looks like they're going to bring out Emerson Collins here to kick it off. Yeah, he's a two-way player. He plays offense and defense, quarterback and linebacker. So it'll be fun to see him play tonight. Yeah, this ninth grade team, you know, they start off with a loss against Lake Hamilton, but they said, you know what, that's not going let to it, let it bother us, and uh, they've won all their games since. Yep. Undefeated in conference so far, looking to take down these Texarkana Razorbacks. Yep. Emerson Collins ready to kick off for Lakeside on this beautiful Thursday night, weather and fall. Waiting for the whistle from the refs. Quick setup by Lakeside for the onside kick. Nearly recovered. Oh, and Lakeside, I believe they might have recovered it. That's probably one of the longest onside kicks you'll ever see in a game of football, Mac. What a great recovery. I believe that might have been number 12. It's hard to see. It was a big scramble for the ball right there. Yeah, it was kicked around and bobbled by both teams until Lakeside eventually fell on it. What a way to start off the game for Lakeside. Going to be Lakeside's ball at the 41-yard line. And Emerson Collins is going to take over quarterback here. What a way to start this game. Looks like they're going to take the ball over at their opponent's 41-yard line. Looking for a quick score here. Start off the game hot. Blake Vincent in the backfield with Emerson Collins. Collins is going to take the snap, roll over to his left, and toss it to Q Jackson. He's going to go to the sideline with no one but green grass. Touchdown, Lakeside. What a way to kick off this game, Mac. Q Jackson on the reverse, right down the sideline. Not a single Texarkana defender anywhere inside. Great play call right there by Coach Brock. Just left no, no one in front of uh, Kadarius Jackson. The big risk for the big play. You know, Mac, starting off the game with an onside kick, a really long onside kick. Lakeside did not look like they were going to recover it. Uh, for most of that time, but they eventually fell on it and first play touchdown. Looks like they're going to go for two here. Yep. Collins in the backfield with Q, and it looks like he's going to get in. They're going to have to push him in. No, he's no, not going to make it. it. That Texarkana defense held, held strong. So that's going to make it 6 nothing Lakeside with 7 minutes and 31 seconds to go in this first quarter. Hey, but a promising start here for Lakeside. You know what that means, Mac? That means not only did they get the ball to start off the game, but they're going to get the ball, they're going to receive the kickoff in the start of the second half. Yep, really good start for Lakeside here. Uh, We're not even 30 seconds into this game, Mac. Oh, no, no. What a start for Lakeside. You think they're going to go for an onside kick again? Uh, I don't know. Well, it seems that Texarkana is going to put a lot more kids up front here. You can see you got a 5 by 4 uh, front here. I mean, you have to after that. Yeah. Real good play call on those uh, first two plays for the junior high. You know, the, the two lakeside QBs just getting to work right there. Only people that touched the ball all drive were Emerson Collins and uh, Q Jackson there. Yep. yep, looks like Collins is going to be back to kick for lakeside. Let's see if they uh, – we're going to get another onside here. And it will be taken at the 41-yard line by Texarkana. Looks like that's a different type of onside kick they went for there. You know, the goal there is just to get enough air under the ball to where you can get as many defenders downfield and maybe even catch the ball. Uh, looks like he just didn't kick it high enough there, and the Texarkana Razorbacks were able to fall on it. Number 17 that was for Texarkana. Yep. Yeah, it will be uh, pretty good, pretty important here to see how Texarkana is going to come back after uh, not getting the ball that first drive. Uh, see how they're going to respond here. And, you know, if you're Texarkana right now, you, you need this touchdown just to not stay completely demotivated right now. You're, you're really down on yourself. You know, that's a, that's a terrific start for Lakeside, but a terrible one for Texarkana. You know, you just got to change the momentum right here. And here's their chance. Yep. Texarkana is going to be in the trips formation here with uh, number 15 at quarterback. 
be a handoff, number 21 to the right side. He'll be taken down the backfield by number 55, Jonathan Rainey. Oh, and he says, look, I don't know. I don't know how I did it. Yep. But he does. He does. He's a dog. That's why. Doesn't know how he did it, but he made it happen. Yes, sir. That'll be second and 15 after that loss in the play right there. Good start for Lakeside there. Just getting through the line, sealing off the edge, and having that running back had nowhere to go there. Texarkana back in the trips, 15 at quarterback. Looking to throw to the left side, and that'll be picked off by number 18, Reed Baker. Whoa, just like an it just looks like an underthrown ball there. It looks like he, uh, Texarkana quarterback was looking for number eight there, but just a little underthrown and right into the hands of number 18 there for Lakeside. Great job by Reed Baker reading that ball in the quarterback's eyes. It's going to be first down and 10 for Lakeside at their own 40-yard line. That ball was just right in the bread basket for the Baker himself. That is a very good allegory there, David. Thank you, Mac. With Reed Baker being on both sides of the ball, let's see if we can get that a little bit more time tonight. You know, let's see, let's see if Lakeside, maybe they'll only run two plays and may score two touchdowns. That's what I want to see. I want to see a touchdown right here for Lakeside. Yep. Think they run the same play? Or you think Texarkana's ready for it? You don't know. You have Collins and uh, Jackson in the backfield, though. Motion by Lakeside. Collins going to take out the middle. Going to try and find some space, but he's going to be taken down after a short gain. Short gain, but that's really all you need to drive down the field, Mac. You know, four yards of play. Looks like, oh, no, they're going to spot, spot about five yards of play. That's plenty enough to just drive down the field and get another score. Yep. So a good play there by Lakeside. You know, I'm not really sure how many snaps Q Jackson can get at a quarterback, but it seems like they may switch uh, him and Collins in. I'm not sure what the ratio is for that. Yeah, it looks like uh, uh, Jackson has a little more of a QB build, but he's a versatile athlete. Collins gets the snap. A little miscommunication, but he's still going to take it up the middle. Going to gain a first down and then some. Yeah, look at a little miscommunication there on the snap. The snap is a little bit late. Uh, lucky Lexi didn't get called for a false start there. Still good job by Collins finding the hole on that one play. You know, whenever you got a riled up crowd like this for Lakeside, it's sometimes hard to hear the QB's cadence. I sp speak from experience there. Yep. Yep. Me and David LaSalle are both varsity football players. David is a center, and I am a cornerback. So we both, uh, we both had our fair share of ninth grade uh, glory days. <laughs> the 2020 Lakeside ninth grade football team was one to remember. We, uh, we can talk about more of that later. Uh, Emerson Collins still back at quarterback. He's going to take a snap, another handoff to him, and he'll be tackled right at the line of scrimmage. Hey, good, good, ta a good tackle there by Texar County. You know, he, it looks like he had a lot of green grass ahead of him, and that was a perhaps touchdown-saving tackle. Yep. Good tackle by number 45 on Texar County. It'll be uh, second and about eight for Lakeside. Second down and nine, they're going to call it. Excuse me. Good, good tackle. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm sure that's one correction Texarkana's made on defense here, just trying to stop the run. Um, because every play so far has been a run play, except this one, as Collins is going to throw it deep to Kadarius Jackson, and he's going to catch that one. Nope, they're going to call it incomplete. Oh, it looks like he had it right in his hands. Just a missed opportunity there for Lakeside. Man. Good play by uh, that Texarkana defender uh, playing his hands, smacking yeah, the ball out. Just as you say, you know, Lakeside's only run the ball. They come out with a pass there. Absolute rainbow ball from Emerson Collins. But uh, right on the money. Just, you know, a missed opportunity there by Q Jackson. About a 40-yard bomb right there. You know, he, he was covered well. Yep. That's what's impressive about it. You know, just perfect pass. Good ball yep. placement. See what Lakeside's going to call here on third down and 10. And that's going to be offsides on Texarkana. <laughs> they got him good there. All three of their defensive linemen jumped. It's going to make it about third and four after that penalty. A lot more manageable situation here for Lakeside. Uh, I, I'm, I'm probably going to guess that they're going to run the ball here. Had some success in the past. Only pass play ended up in an incompletion. Yep. Collins back at quarterback. Ooh, Texarkana's going to stack the box here with a bunch of li linebackers deep. But Collins is going to take the handoff. And he's going to be wrapped up by a swarm of Texarkana Razorbacks. It's almost like Texarkana heard me and saying that they were going to run the ball. It's going to be, like 
unnecessary roughness on Texarkana. You know, Wessel was blown, but they kept on trying to tackle him to the ground. You know, they had to stop there, but that's just a, it's a real big mistake for Texarkana there. They, they could have had them on a fourth down and five. Instead, it looks like the Lakeside's going to get a first down there. Yep. You know, just I mean, letting the motions get the best of you. Just not, not being smart right there by Texarkana. You have to, you know, you have to know down and distance. Uh, you can't give up that type of penalty. Yeah, big loss there for Texarkana. So that'll move it, move the chains. It'll be first down and 10 for Lakeside. See where they're going to spot it. Just about halfway through this first quarter, Lakeside's looking to put their second touchdown up on the board. And that's got to hurt the Texarkana mindset because you're grinding and grinding for that uh, fourth down, and then you just give up a free penalty on that one. Yeah, that's just one thing. As you, as you get older, you get a little bit better at it. But, you know, that's something that never really leaves you. You know, just – just you letting your emotions get the best of you, and you just can't do that. Lakeside with the trips. Collins back quarterback. Motion by Jackson. Collins going to look to his right, throw it to Kadarius. Oh, could have been a great catch by Key right there. Um, almost OBJ right there. Oh, my goodness. Could have been an amazing catch, you know, just a little overthrown by Emerson. Missed opportunity once again, passing the ball. Looks like Lakeside's probably going to stick with the run game. But, you know, they have opportunities. They have opportunities. Yeah, like we said earlier, the two key playmakers this game so far have been uh, Kadarius Jackson, Jackson and Emerson Collins. You know, Lakeside hadn't even given a handoff yet. The only runs that they've had are QB sneaks by Emerson. Yep. Just direct snaps to him. Let's see what they're going to drop here on second and long. Collins back, quarterback. Motion by Lakeside. And another direct snap to Collins right up the middle. It was a very interesting offense that Lakeside's running here. You know, just the dual, the dual threat QBs, one more of a QB than the other, but they run it every time with the same – the ball's only touched two people all game. And that's honestly impressive just to see that they're driving down the field with Texarkana probably knowing that they, these two people are going to get the ball every play. Yep. You know, it reminds me of, uh, I believe it's 2019, Brock Prince uh, quarterback. He was a very similar player to Emerson Collins. If you remember those days, David. Oh, I do. I do. <laughs> it's going to be a false start, or excuse me, offsides on Texarkana. Going to make it about third and three for Lakeside. Another mistake by Texarkana. These penalties are killing this drive for him, Mac. That's about three, isn't it, on this drive? Yep. Two offsides and one unnecessary roughness. That's Just letting their emotions get the best of them. That's about half a touchdown, isn't it? No. We have Jackson back at quarterback. He's going to take it up the middle. He's going to try and get to the outside. One man to beat. He has a good stiff arm. He's looking to the end zone. Oh, he did not get it, but he was so close. That is an MVP caliber play by that Texarkana defender. Did you see that, Mac? That was very insane. Absolutely denying him out of the end zone. He had that amazing burst of speed right on the edge of the field, and then boom, denied. Very impressive play by Q Jackson. Even better tackle by the Texarkana defender there. Oh, looks like we have a holding penalty on Lakeside. Oh, those are drive killers, Mac. Yep. So that's going to back him up on uh, this third down and short. Going to replay third down here. Yep. Well, it'll only back him a couple of yards. More manageable. But what a play by Q right there. Great stiff arm. As to try to get to the end zone, but ultimately it will uh, not matter. Collins back, quarterback with the trips. Going to look to his left and his right. It's going to be a screen to number four, Blake Vincent. He's looking toward the end zone. He's going to be not tackled. That'll be touchdown that lakeside. Unstoppable. Man. You know, after that, after that amazing tackling job by Texarkana on that touchdown-saving tackle that ended up getting called back anyway, you know, just poor tackling technique by Texarkana there, letting number four there for Lakeside absolutely just march straight into the end zone with three Camden, de excuse me, Texarkana defenders on his back. Yeah, great play by Blake Vince right there, just finding open, fa open space and uh, just finding the end zone. Yeah, it looks like a tight end screen there, Mac. Uh, he just ran straight up the middle. And uh, straight into the end zone. No two book conversion for uh, Lakes out here. Conversion? Yep. Uh, Collins going to look to pass. It'll be no good. 
Uh, Texarkana into the defender right in his face there, number 20. Good pressure by Texarkana. Couldn't get the ball where he wanted it. Yeah, it's been a you know, very ferocious start uh, by Lakeside. As I like to quote my boys down at Malvern, Highway 270 gang. Uh, but 12 nothing. that's a great start for Lakeside here. Any shutout is good. So as long as that Lakeside defense can keep on staying just as dominant as they've been, I think Lakeside is in a very good position here. Yep. Let's see another onside kick here probably. I just see Texarkana. They learned from that first time. They're putting all their boys up front. They are ready for it. One man back deep. And, you know, we really haven't seen it yet tonight, but does, does Emerson Collins really even have the leg to get it back there, or are they just going to onside kick all night? Well, I mean, especially in junior high, I think it's uh, more likely for, you know, one of the up men to fumble. Um, yeah, he, the best bet, just an onside kick for the rest of the game, I say, just from the success that they've had. You know, 50% success rate. The risk to reward way shows there. But Colin, he's going to actually get it back there quite far. It's not going to be out of bounds. He'll be fielded by number 17 on Texarkana. He'll be down about the 24-yard line. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a scary play for number 17 there for Texarkana. He's the only man that's possible able to get that ball. And, you know, you got all of these lakeside defenders running after you, and they're trying to take your head off and get that ball from you. Yep. That's one of the scary things about being on kickoff. You have a full, uh, full field of men just screaming for you. Running full speed, just trying to get that ball from you. Yep. So uh, it'll be at the 24-yard line. It'll be kind of good uh, yard, kind of good position for uh, Texarkana right yep. here. Very good. Let's really, see what they're going to drop here after really throwing that interception. Uh, last drive. See if this Lakeside defense can keep on being as dominant as they've been. Number 15 is going to be back at quarterback for Texarkana. In the gun. Lakeside showing blitz. And take the snap, hand off to number 30 on the right side. He'll be taken down behind line of scrimmage. Good little ankle tackle there by Lakeside, preventing the gain for Texarkana. I believe... That was number 55 again for Lakeside. Jonathan Rainey. Jonathan Rainey. Sibling of Joshua Rainey on the high school team. And two years ago, his... Uh, Caleb Rainey. Caleb Rainey. He was a beast, too. The Rainies, football runs in their blood. See what Texas Arcana is going to drop here on about third, and, or excuse me, second to 13. Quarterback has a lot of time in the pocket. He's going to roll out to his right, chunk it deep, and it'll be out of bounds. There he is again, Jonathan Rainey, right in his face. That's, that's, that's a scary look if you know our 15 right there, coming down the field. Now, I mean, most ninth graders are not very developed, kind of small, but Jonathan Rainey, you can tell that he is bigger than almost everyone in that field right now. He's a little ahead of the curve. Yep. So it'll be third and long for Texarkana here. Looks like they're going to spread the field with trips again. A little Hail Mary maybe? Let's see it, you know. I'm all for it. Yep. Let's throw it deep here. DB's back deep for Lakeside. About one minute left in this uh, first quarter. So we're going to throw it deep on the right side. It'll be caught by number seven on Texarkana. What did I say? You know, just give your men a chance. Number seven there for Texarkana. Amazing catch. Very well covered by the Lakeside defender there. Just an amazing play by Texarkana. And you know, whenever you're down like this, you have nothing to lose. You know, throw it deep every play. Give your guys a chance. And, you know, that time it worked out for him. Yeah. I mean, wasn't bad coverage by James Hall right there. Just a uh, better catch by Texarkana. And that's going to happen sometimes as a DB. They're going to test him again. James Hall on the right side. Another catch for number seven. And now if you're lakeside looking at this, James Hall, nothing against young man. He's a very good football player. He's having covered up very well. But you might want to put a bigger guy on him because he's just jumping up and taking that ball right away, right away from him. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to put Jackson out there. Great job by James Hall still uh, covering him right there. It's going to be a penalty on Texarkana. It's going to back him up some. Oh, man, the Texar Texarkana, these penalties, they're, they're just they're killing their drives. It's going to be holding on Texarkana. Going to back him up a little bit. Yeah, you see uh, Kadarius Jackson at corner on the far side with uh, James Hall over here now. Yeah, they made the right, they made the right decision there. You know, so you got to substitute out your guy whenever he's getting right. mossed like that. Well, especially at corner, you know, it, it's hard to guard those deep routes because if you make one wrong step, uh, you're beat. I know from experience. I'm sure you do. 
going to be false start on Texarkana. One of the receivers jumped a little early. Oh, man. Texarkana can just not escape this penalty bug. And it's only the first quarter. I mean, really, it just that's the one thing killing right now. They'd have a great field position on uh, a lot of their drives, and their defense would be a lot better right now. If they yeah, they, they probably could have stopped Lakeside that last drive. You know, could have put them in a fourth and down, fourth yep. and five situation. You know, could have gotten the stop there and given their offense the ball, gave them a little more momentum, but missed opportunity. Yep. You know, they've had to set the tone, uh, and those penalties are really backing them up. It'll be first and 25 here. Lakeside blitzing those backers again. 15's going to roll out to his right, but he'll be sacked behind the line of scrimmage. He'll fumble, but it's going to be Jonathan Rainey again. Man, look at him. Step it. And that'll be the first quarter with Lakeside up 12 to nothing. No real dominant first quarter here from Lakeside. We want to give a quick thank you to our sponsors, Reliance Bank, National Park College, and Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Yeah, very good uh, starting performance by Lakeside. Just uh, looking dominant on all fronts right here. Special teams, offense, and defense. You know, I think the biggest factor here has been penalties. These penalties against Tex Arcana have been monumental to this team's performance. Indeed. You know, look, second down and 27. How, how do you even get yourself there? Just simple mistakes. You know, if they could fix the simple mistakes, I, I feel we have a ball game on our hands. Yep. And you look here back on the front side of your screen, we have Kadarius Jackson on number seven, the star receiver for Texarkana. That's going to be a good matchup. Yep. If they want to keep passing it deep, ladies and gentlemen, look no further. 15 is going to be back at quarterback. In the shotgun. Showing blitz. He's going to take the snap. Look to number seven, but it'll be caught, and he's going to be wrapped up by Kadarius Jackson, but he's going to still drive and get some yards. It's going to be about a gain of 10 right there. You know, great job driving with Q Jackson wrapped all the way around you. You know, he, he ran another 15 yards there. It may not have been in positive direction, but he still ran with a man all wrapped around his waist. Yeah, yards after contact, that can really change a football game. You know, if you're Texas kind of here, I say this D-line and linebackers blitzing all the time, they've found no success on the run game. You know, Texas are kind of back in the shotgun. Quarterback going to look to his left. He's going to roll out left, and he looks like he's going to run it. And he's going to be forced out of bounds for number four, Blake Vincent. Nice little, nice little sneaker there by the QB for Texas Arcana. Good job taking what he can right there and just getting some positive yardage. But that's going to make it about fourth down and eight for Texarkana. And look, they started here second and 27, all right? This, they've done pretty good so far. Yeah, and that really just shows how much penalties have hurt them this drive. Look for this matchup at the bottom of your screen. Q Jackson on number seven for Texarkana. Fourth, fourth down, number 15 is going to look to throw, but it'll be... Batted down by number 33 for Lakeside, Logan Clark. Oh, nearly intercepted Logan Clark, just a missed opportunity. But, you know, Lakeside gets the ball in better field position than they would have if he would have picked off that ball. So, you know, no complaints. Good smart play, unselfish play, I should say. That or he just dropped it. It looks like he wanted that interception because it looks like he could have gotten some yardage after that. Whatever DB dreams of, or at least I assume. Yep. Yeah, I've, I've had my fair share of dr dreams with uh, interception or two. That you have, Mac. That you have. JV Benton last year? Two, me. two, two yeah, years yeah, ago. You know, your, know your role. But, uh, you know, it looks like Lakeside's going to okay. have Collins back quarterback uh, with Jackson in the backfield. Collins going to take a snap, another direct snap to him. He's going to go to his right, going to find some green grass. 
He'll be Pe forced out of bounds. Penalty flag fl thrown. Let's see what it is here. Could be a holding against Lakeside. Looks like that might be what it is. Mm -hmm. Penalties in this game have been a, played a big factor. But good job by the referees, you know, calling these penalties when they are needed on um, both teams. You know, keeping these, keeping these boys in line, you know, some that, some that all young men need in this time in their lives. You know, a bunch of 14-year-olds, you know, really don't know what you're doing in the grand scheme of things, and uh, sometimes you need that upper hand just give you a little pat on the back or shove. Uh, so. That's going to make it first down and 20 as that uh, last play is going to be erased. I have faith in Lakeside that they can get this first down, though. Their offense has been unstoppable so far. Yep. They've had some good uh, play calling uh, with the trick play to start it and some uh, good runs. Now you see Kadarius Jackson at quarterback in the empty. He's going to take a direct snap. He's going to run it up the middle for a gain of about seven. Not a bad play there by Lakeside. You know, he's getting the yards necessary to get that first down. Yep. Just need to stay consistent with these plays. Not, ha not take any loss on the play. You know, that's the first time we've seen uh, Q get back there at quarterback, and uh, I believe Collins lined up at receiver. So That could be something we see more often as this game goes on. You know, as the game gets later on, the game gets maybe a little bit closer, Lakeside's going to be pulling more things out of their hat. Collins going to be at quarterback now. Going to send Q in motion. He's going to throw a screen to Q. It'll be a live ball but the ref's going to call it dead as it was a forward pass. Yeah, it looks like it was forward pass there. Texture kind of would have ended up with the ball there if it wasn't. Smart play by number 16 on Texture Arcana, uh, trying to fall on the ball. That's one thing you always have to do if it's a backwards pass because that is rule to fumble. Could have set up Texture Arcana with some real nice field position. Yep. So it'll be third and 14 for Lakeside here. Uh, let's see what they're going to draw up here. What do you think, David? You know what? going to drop back quarterback. He's going to roll out to his left. Nothing open, but he's going to try and find something, but he will not be able to as he'll be sacked by number 11 on Texarkana. Podge there, technical difficulties with our scoreboard cam. We are back in action, though. Yep. Late side, looks like they're going to punt here. Blake Vincent's going to take the kicking responsibilities. Going to be downed at the about 37-yard line. Not a bad punt there for a junior high punter. No, it gives Texas kind of decent field position, but not all that good. So it's going to be Texas Arcana's ball at their own 37-yard line. Uh, so one thing they would, one thing they need to make sure on this drive is just to eliminate any penalties if they want to have a chance in this football game. Apologies, the technical difficulties. So number 15 is going to be back at quarterback for Texarkana. A little shift by Lakeside on the defensive line. He's going to look to his left. It'll be incomplete as it was tended to number six. Man, who is, who is Texarkana's quarterback throwing the ball to there? Right into the hands of Mr. Vincent himself, number four. Just, you know. Looks like he might have jammed his finger on the ball. Not the way you want to catch it. Going to make it a second and ten here for the Hogs. As they're in a bunch set on this uh, bottom screen. Oh, it'll be a direct snap to the running back on the right side. He'll be wrapped up initially by Kadarius Jackson, but forced down by Jonathan Rainey. That took a whole herd of Rams to bring that man down. You know, impressive play by number 21 there for Texarkana. Good running right there by number 21, but he'll be subbed out by number 45. 
And uh, it'll be third and long, third and nine here for Texarkana. You know, a play like that, whenever you break about 50 tackles, it feels like, you know, you might have to take a little breather. For the new running back in the game, Texarkana is going to take the snap, fake the handoff. He's going to look to his right. It'll be picked off, nearly picked off by Reed Baker again. Oh, don't call it too soon there, Mac. Baker almost had his second interception of the night. So close, but it's still fourth and long for the Texarkana Razorbacks. Looks like they're going to punt. Right in the bread basket again. I mean, we almost had a second. I uh, wouldn't call that one right in the bread basket. That would have been an impressive play if we would have caught that. Great play by Reed Baker just batting that one down, though. Uh, making it fourth and long as the punt team's going to come out for Texarkana. Yeah, I just, I just called that one way too early. I, I think I should have waited till he at least landed on the ground to call the interception. A little confusion with the center there. Looks like he didn't know he could move the ball. Yep. Rookie mistake. Low, low punt by Texarkana. And Kadarius Jackson, he's going to get the ball as he looks to run down the right side. Number three is going to have to make a play on him. And he's still running. He'll be down at about the 26. Seven yard line. What originally looked like a busted play there for Lakeside. Tesha kind of got a good bounce on the punt. Q Jackson stopped it with his feet. Uh, eventually, it looks like he fumbled around a little bit. Got, eventually got the ball. Uh, scary play there for Lakeside, but Q Jackson made something out of it, making up for his mistakes. You know, sometimes that can work whenever, you know, you have a lot of defenders running at you full speed. They don't have time to break down. Um, and that's, that was a good job recovering by Q Darius Jackson right there. Gonna make it first down and 10 at the 27 yard line. Great field position here for Lakeside. Q Jackson looks like he's gonna have to come out after that long run. That'll take it out of you. First down 10 with the new running back in the game as uh, Jackson just got subbed out. Collins gonna take the direct snap. He's gonna look to run it down the left side. He'll be wrapped up after a gain of about four. You know, most times Collins taking the direct snap to run the ball. He hadn't had much room on the inside. Uh, looks like some mistakes there for Lakeside. Missed blocks. Look to improve in the second half after their little halftime speech. A little more than three minutes left in this uh, second quarter. With uh, Lakeside still playing very good so far. Split backfield uh, with Collins. Going to send a man in motion towards the right side. He's going to take the snap, hand it off to Blake Vincent, go, Blake, looking go. to find some room. Ooh. Great job trying to get over that defender, but it'll be for no gain. You know, number 16 there for Texarkana, you know, he, he may have looked like he got up and made that play, which he did, but Blake Vincent made it work for it, put him to the ground. You know, Mike, whenever they lined up with the three people in the backfield, I, I thought maybe – could this be? Could this be triple option? In my dreams. Uh, you know, last week, uh, played a good triple option opponent. Uh, ooh, wow. <laughs> he wanted that. False start on uh, number 61, takes Arcana. But as I was saying, we played a good triple option opponent last week. Uh, so maybe Lakeside got some inspiration from that. Um, but Tex or Magnolia, they were in a flex bone last week. This would be a more modern um, version of that. In the gun. And you know, with a quarterback that can run like Collins, might not be a bad thing put into your playbook. Number 61 there for Texarkana, though. He came off the ball with some speed. Very ferocious, to say the least. He came off the ball with some major ferocity. Going to send Kadarius Jackson in motion. Collins going to throw it to him. And it'll be incomplete. You know, another drop ball there on the screen pass attempt. You know, Lakeside, after, after so many attempts, you might just want to abandon the screen pass game. Yep. Going to be fourth and short for the Rams. Yeah, this is uh, fourth down territory for junior high teams at least. Not quite long enough to hit a field goal. Um, so Lakeside's going to go for this one as they have uh, trips. Oh, nearly, nearly, but they're going to call it. Ah, heartbreaker. Yep. Truly heartbreaking. Just another uh, example of penalties killing the Sticks Arcana defense. 
could have been a big play there for Texas County. You know, Lakeside might even not even run a play. They might have just tried to go for the no snap, but they got him. Yep. So Looks it'll like be they they would. gonna be first down and ten at the 14-yard line for Lakeside. Lakeside's gonna run to the ball. It'll be a quick check for Lakeside. Nearly got him again. Collins back quarterback. Kaderis Jackson in the backfield. Collins gonna look to pass over the middle. It'll be incomplete as his intended receiver, Blake Vincent, try to make a good play on that ball. Yeah, the Texas Arcana defender trying to make a play at the same time. Yep. Just a battle for uh, two guys at the top, and no one came down with it. Good play by the Texas Arcana defenders. And one thing I've seen, especially in the second quarter, Texas Arcana, they really have uh, you know, tried to fight a lot more on defense at least. Keeping the game a lot closer than it was in that first quarter. You know, this game is not out of reach for Texarkana here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lots of motion up front there for Lakeside. Looks like there's some major confusion there. Yeah, a lot of turbulence up front for Lakeside. So that's going to back him up five yards. Going to make it second and 15 after that uh, low encounter. Yeah, and those, those, those are the kind of penalties that coaches just, ugh. Itches at him. It itches at him. It makes him so mad. Because, you know, you run through all the plays in practice, you get up there to finally perform, and something like a missed time snap just ruins the whole play. Yep. As one of the coaches for the high school team, Jeff McBride, would say, that is illegal. Uh, yes, he would. So we have Kadarius Jackson in the backfield. He's going to motion to Emerson Collins. There'll be a direct handoff to him as he's going to look for some room on the right side. He'll gain some good yardage, and he will be... Out of bounds, just outside the goal line. I don't know, Mac. He hit the pylon there. Wish we could get an instant replay of that uh, encounter. You know, if only we had the uh, the fancy pylon cams like the NFL had. You know, then we could have really told. But you know, I, I have faith in Lakeside that they're going to be able to get these two yards. Must have stepped out of bounds. But that's one thing that's really big. There's no instant replay reviews in high school or junior high games. Uh, so some teams really could have used that. You know. Uh, Lake Saver to Malvern a couple weeks ago. Oh, don't, don't, don't even bring it up. We all saw it. All us Lakeside TV members watching the game at home. Excuse me, I was on the field, but you know what I mean. Going to be a uh, weird formation for Lakeside as they have two men to his right, but it'll be a touchdown Lakeside. You know, I, don't, I don't think that formation is weird at all. You know why? Because we just scored a touchdown on it. Good little play there for Lakeside. Dual running back right by, by each other. Just some extra... Blockers for Collins at QB. Yeah, normally you'd see uh, you know split backs. You have the quarterback and a running back on uh, each of his sides, but on that time, the two running backs were by each other, so uh, more of a lead block type of situation right there. You know, you don't see that a lot, if at all, really. But you know, touchdown Lakeside. I'm happy. So Lakeside's gonna go for two again after failing the first two tries. Collins gonna roll out to his left, look for Kadarius Jackson. Ooh, no, Blake Vincent, but it'll be incomplete. Uh, you know, he was, he was wide open there, just a little underthrown ball. Right in the same spot that his brother, Ben Vincent, caught the winning two-point conversion for Lakeside against Malvern. Except on the other side. Well, yeah, course. other, okay. Having a little confused there. Sorry, just deja vu. Deja vu. Robbed. Yeah, very good. The first little call a few weeks ago, but uh, we won't focus on that as of right now. We're moving on. Yep. Texarkana is our opponent. And that's all we're focused on. Yes, indeed. One week at a time, as Coach Rock would say. The head coach of Lakeside uh, football. He's taken over this year. Has done a lot of great things in this, uh, you know, five games he's played. You know, created, created what we all are calling now as the Rock era. A great era for Lakeside football. As Collins will kick this one short and high, it'll be uh, taken by number six at Scar about the 44-yard line. Scary play there for Texarkana, number five and number six. A little miscommunication on who's going to catch the ball. Number six must have called this guy out the way for him to catch it. Four. Yep. There was mayhem. So it'll be uh, Texarkana's ball at their own 43-yard line as they look to uh, get something started on offense. You know, Lakeside hadn't been able to... Uh, convert a single two-point conversion here every time they've scored a touchdown, leaving the, the door open for 
Texarkana to come in and maybe get a few points up on the board. Yep. So you see uh, Kadarius Jackson is not on the field. They're going to put uh, number 11, James Hall, back on the uh, backside. As number 15 is going to be back quarterback for Texarkana. He'll take the snap and hand it off number 45 down the right side. He has some room. No one in front of him, but Jonathan Rainey is going to catch up to him and push him out of bounds. Close. That's, a, that's a real bulldoze right there. Running down the sideline. No one's going to be able to take him down. We're just pushed out of bounds as a last resort. Yep, good tackle by Jonathan Rainey. Maybe saving a touchdown. Let's go, defense. So uh, it'll be Texas Arcana's ball, 35-yard line uh, with number 15 back quarterback. He's going to take the snap and hand it off down the right sideline again, but he'll be wrapped up by number four, Blake Vincent. Some serious speed shown there for number 30 for Texas Arcana. You know, uh, Blake Vincent with the big, big tackle there. Yep. Only 52 seconds left in this uh, first half, so Texas Arcana is going to take a timeout. You know, this is this is time for Texas Arcana to take a little momentum shift. You know, score here, make a stop on defense if you have to at all, unless you run out the whole clock. And get the ball back. Maybe try an onside kick to start off the third quarter. Get the ball back, score, and it's only a one-score game. A lot easier said than done, but we've crazier things have happened. Yep. Especially in junior high football, I mean, you never know what can happen uh, with all the uh, chaos that is possible. True. Junior high football is a, is a whole different breed. Yep. Untamed. So it'll be uh, second down and about seven at the 28-yard line. Excuse me. Time for the Lakeside defense here to make a big stop. Texarkana really need to score here to stay in this ball game. Quarterback's going to take the snap, hand it off to the right side again. Number 45, great tackle on open field by number three, Kadarius Jackson. There's that absolute bulldozer there. Run down the side, trying to run some men over. See some trash talking right there between number 45 and number three, uh, Kadarius Jackson. Yeah, things just get a little heated in junior high football. You know how it is, Mac. Number 45 had some great hair, had some uh, beautiful dreadlocks, I believe. Still walking off the field. You can see that hit really uh, hurt him, emotionally and physically. Yeah. Poor guy. Mentally, even. Maybe not poor guy, I don't know. You don't know. That's not well, true. I mean, I, I would definitely say that Kadarius Jackson laid the wood right there. W wouldn't you, David? No. Really? No, I think, I think only one man can lay the wood on Lakeside TV, and he's sitting right next to me. David, I appreciate that very much. No problem, Mac. Don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, uh, no, I, I won't do that to y'all. I won't do that to y'all. Probably for the best. Yep. We can talk more about that in the uh, second half, as this uh, first half is going to be really big for this um, game, as Texas Arcana is going to be in the gun. Going to send a man in motion over the right side. Quarterback's going to take the snap, look to his left, deliver a slant pass. It'll be dropped by number six. What a huge incompletion there for Lakeside. I mean, just dropped there by number six. Blown coverage. Looks like the defender there just slipped on the turf. You know, it was raining earlier today. The turf might be a little bit slippery. Yep. Not a man over the middle for Lakeside, so that receiver would have caught that ball, it would have been, uh, you know, tragic, so to speak. Let's go, defense. Lakeside somewhat bailed out there. Yep. So Texarkana is going to look to go for this fourth down. Uh, he's going to roll it to his left, quarterback, looking deep. Nothing open, so he's going to have to run it, and he will get the first down. Uh, let's not speak too soon now. Looks like they're going to call him a little short. Ooh, boy. You know, if he would take off a little bit earlier, I think he could have gotten there, but he gave Blake Vincent just enough time to come in and make the, the drive-saving tackle. Yep, so that'll be Lakeside's ball. He will not get the first down. Very close, though. Good, great, great effort 
by number 15 for the Texarkana Razorbacks, trying to put the team on his back there. Just couldn't get it done. Great pursuit right there on the backside of the entire Lakeside defense, trying to get that uh, first down uh, stopped. You know, with about 30 seconds left in the first half, David, what would you call on offense? You know, if I'm Lakeside here, I think, you know, 30 seconds, I don't want to take any two big shots, potentially turn the ball over to Texarkana. You know, I think I'm just going to run out this clock. But, you know, if it's me, it's junior high, let, let's throw the ball deep. Let's go score another touchdown. I say big, big throw right here, and let's go score another touchdown. Put another six up on the board. Let's see what they're going to do. He's going to have a direct snap to Emerson Collins. Down the sideline, some lead blockers. And he's going to just run out of bounds at his own 40-yard line with 23 seconds left on the clock. Okay, now now I think Lakeside, what they were trying to do there was just run out the clock. But, you know, with a big play like that on first down, I think you're in plenty, you have plenty of time and plenty of field position to take a few more big shots down the field and put another six, hopefully eight, up on the board. You know, yeah, you know, worst thing that happens for Lakeside, you know, they, they don't get it right here and they run out the clock. Um, so Lakeside's going to take a snap here. Collins going to look to his right and then to his left, but uh, it'll be incomplete. Looks like a little screen pass there, but the screen was maybe covered up. Uh, but he looked for a second option there, which you don't see quarterbacks do very often on a screen pass. Yeah. Second down here, though, you got you got to if you're trying to score, you got to take a pretty big shot right here. Screen pass could work, but now you know Texas are kind of probably thinking, hey, they they might want to go for a screen here. They already showed it. Yeah, I think that was a call play, Chuck. Uh, you know, to, to quote Houston Nutt, a former uh, Arkansas head coach, uh, he had some crazy play calls back in the day, and that's that was his retaliation uh, for calling plays. As Collins going to look to pass deep, a rainbow throw, and it'll be incomplete. Intended receiver was Kadarius Jackson. Ah, so close. You know, another rainbow deep bomb down the field by Collins. Uh, you know, put – Pretty decently on the money, but uh, you know, Key Jackson covered up pretty well. wasn't able to come down with it. Yep. So it's gonna make it third, third down and long here for Lakeside. I think you could probably take one more shot here take if you one, want to. Take one more shot. See where it happens. Punt it away. Go into halftime with the lead. Yep. In the other world of sports, the uh, Bears are up ten to nothing against the Washington Commanders. Oh no, that's not good. For commanders, defense owners like me in fantasy football, not what you want to hear. Yeah, but that play uh, throw by Collins will be incomplete over the middle to Kadarius Jackson. Going to make it fourth down and ten for Lakeside. Now the last, last deep shot, you know, there's ten seconds left. If you have enough faith in your defense, uh, no, excuse me, sorry, they're punting it. Probably smart, smart move here by Lakeside. Yeah. You know, just give them the ball back, make one last stop. They probably only have time to run one more play and go into halftime. Very high punt by, uh, I believe, Blake Vincent. And there will be three seconds left on the clock for Texarkana to uh, maybe whip something up here. That looked more like a pop fly than a punt to me. High, high punt. Only went about 15 yards. Yep. You know, no desig designated punter for uh, Lakeside, so they probably just, you know, just they are focused on offense and defense, just getting the ball uh, down the field. So first down and ten at the 42-yard line for Texarkana as they look to maybe get one big play here before the half. As Lakeside is going to be in the prevent defense with four men deep. Texarkana probably going to take one more shot downfield before going into halftime. Oh, oh, nope, just a knee. Play it smart. Take it back. So uh, going into halftime, Lakeside will be up 18 to nothing against the Texarkana Razorbacks. We'll be back after after this uh, halftime break. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, MSculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, 
and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all, and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, 
help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside TV is a student-run broadcast program where dozens of students get the opportunity to produce live events. They can get hands-on experience creating graphics, videos, and commercials for Lakeside Athletics. They get the opportunity to get creative while learning Adobe Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. Lakeside TV live streams a wide range of events from football to basketball to graduation. You can find all of our content on our YouTube page, Lakeside TV. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online, help you set the schedule you need at about half the cost of the average Arkansas University. National Park College offers a supportive college experience, close to home at about half the cost. Schedule a tour or apply today. Learn more at np.edu. Lakeside. Welcome back to this broadcast of Lakeside Ram football versus the Texarkana Razorbacks as uh, Lakeside is up 18 to nothing going into the second half. You know, Lakeside had a great start off to the game. They got the onside kick recovery on the opening kickoff. To start off, momentum was high. Uh, you know, fizzled out a little bit at the end, but you know, Still a dominant performance by Lakeside and Lakeside's defense. You know, but a lot of missed opportunities by the Texarkana offense, though. Penalties really set them back in the first half. They probably got a stern talking to by their coach, I'm sure, about not 
getting those penalties again in the second half. Yep. You know, Texas Arcanos, they're going to kick off here. I would assume that they would try and aim for an onside kick just to get the ball back on offense. Yeah, it looks like Lakeside's preparing for the onside kick. Uh, completely justified in doing the onside kick. A uh, little kick to the right here probably. Looks like that's where they got most of their men. Only two men deep for Lakeside. Uh, I believe it's Kadarius Jackson. And I believe number 10, Reed Baker. As they will boot it deep to number 11, Reed Baker. But he'll take it, and he'll be down at about the 11-yard line. You know, scary that play there for number 11 for Lakeside. Uh, looks like he, he, he thought it was about to go out, just bounce out of bounds. You know, uh, Texas can get the penalty, and Lakeside get the ball. Uh, further upfield, but looks like he took a lucky bounce from Texarkana back inside, and he had to fall on it while, you know, multiple Texarkana Hogs were racing after him. Yep. So Lakeside won't have the best starting field position here, but it shouldn't be a problem for them on offense. Now they've shown us, you know, even even without having a, a true running back and just running with the QB sneak, they've shown us how dominant they can be with uh, 18 points up on the board. Correct. So it'll be uh, first down at the 12-yard line for Lakeside with uh, Emerson Collins back quarterback with uh, Jackson in the backfield. Going to send a man in motion, Logan Clark, and he'll get a block, but Emerson Collins will take the direct snap. He'll find some green grass, and he'll be forced out of bounds by a Texas Canada defender at the third-yard line. Only take, uh, makes about a few, a few men miss, and, you know, gets 12 yards upfield. Good little gain there for Collins. Good job just, uh, you know, switching fields right there. He started off on the right side, went left, then back right. You know, it's impressive. Like that's showing, you know, we don't need a true running back. We're just going to run the ball with our QB every time. We're going to get 10 yards. And they're, they're doing pretty good at it. That is a very common play call style for Lakeside's junior high. Let's we'll see what they're going to call up here with Collins back quarterback. We're going to take a snap, direct snap. Oh, he'll flip it back to, to Kadarius Jackson like he did on the first play of the game. Jackson's going to look down the left side, and he'll be pushed out of bounds by number four and takes Arcana. Yeah, that's the exact same play they ran that scored them, that got them a score on the first play. Uh, not quite ex as successful this time. You know, Texas Arcana sniffed it out better than they did the first time. But, you know, still a positive game for, uh, for Lakeside. Yep, another first down for Lakeside as that'll uh, put Kadarius Jackson's rushing totals up above 70 yards. All right, Collins going to send another man in motion, Logan Clark, and he's going to take it down the right side. Has some blockers ahead of him, and he's going to try and find room, and he'll get another first down, and then some. You know, the outside runs here for Lakeside are working incredible. Uh, you know, that's another 10-yard game for Lakeside. Uh, it's a great play right there. Yeah, indeed. So, uh, you know, that's three consecutive first downs for Lakeside. Uh, some really good ball movement right here and play calling. Up 14, first and 10. Well, I mean, I, I don't even know if you can say it's the play call because I, I believe they've ran three very similar plays, you know, besides for the reverse. Uh, Lakeside just out there playing ball. You know, it reminds me of Madden. You can run the same play over and over, and it's still going to work. As the handoff going to be to Jackson right here, but he'll be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage by number 33 on Texarkana. Hey, that's a good tackle by Texarkana. You know, 33, a little undersized man, uh, linebacker, but, you know, still wrapped up the big old Q. Very tall Q, you should say. About six, uh, what do you say, six one maybe? I say six one, six two. You know, six one. Six one, alright. Six one officially. I'm just getting word that Kadarius Jackson is six five. That uh, is fake news, Mac Story. Do not listen to that. Six five. Very uh, similar to Luke Vonenstein on the high school team, who is six foot six. Not nearly as good of a ball player, though, let's be honest. That, that is very uh, insulting, David. Um, no offense to the man. Back up, long snapper. He's a very accomplished young man. Just on the football field. Now, swimming, that is where Luke Vonenstein shines. Luke Vonenstein, you are a great swimmer. Stop, just stop there, just stop there. So it's going to be a timeout, uh, I believe, injury timeout. Someone uh, is hurt. Looks like uh, Coach Lewis over there on the far side. 
Give a quick oh, thank uh, you to our sponsors. Yep. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, M-Sculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a free consultation at Rockstar Wellness Clinic. We push out of bounds. Uh, we apologize for that little uh, long commercial run, but uh, that, that was a first down run by Emerson Collins down there on the left sideline. Good tackle by number uh, 16 on Texarkana. Any insights on that play, David? Good play. That's all that's uh, needed to be said after that great run by Collins. Hey, it's a first down, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Collins going to be in the shotgun, actually empty here. Throw the ball, maybe, or run it. He's, He's going to look pass. To, look to his right. He's going to try and avoid a defender, but he will be dragged down by high line of scrimmage. Good tackle there by Texarkana defender. You know, running back playing quarterback, those are pretty hard to take down. I would, uh, who, who would you compare Emerson Collins' play style most to? Give me Justin Fields. You know, smaller guy. You know he can throw the ball. You know, maybe not as effective as other passers in the game. But, you know, he is lethal on the ground. Someone that I would take, which I believe may be more realistic, is Kyler Murray. True. But <laughs> Justin Fields is better. You could uh, argue for that. As we uh, go back to this Lakeside Junior High game, say the NFL, Collins going to take snap, direct snap, and he'll look to run down the left side, but he'll be wrapped up as he runs it inside. You know why? You know why he's closer to uh, Justin Fields than he is to to Kyler Murray? Because he's not hurt right now. That is correct. Kyler Murray is on a. Is he on IR? Ah. Uh, not. I just know he ain't getting any fancy points. That doesn't really matter for this game as of right now. Uh, but it'll be third and 15 for Lakeside here. Let's see if they're going to call a trick play or pass play um, with Collins and Jackson in the backfield. The default formation for Lakeside tonight has been the trips. As Collins is going to look to run after a broken play, he's going to lob it to number 16 for Lakeside, and it'll be brought down. Hey, that was a snag right there by the Lakeside defender. Great, great play. Is that – that was the Baker himself. That is unreal. But I believe there's a flag on the field. Ah, man. Another one. This game has just been riddled with flags, Mac. I don't know if there's anything Lakeside or Texarkana can do. Yeah. Just the ref's calling the game. I believe it was a – what, a legal man downfield for Lakeside? You know, and on pass plays like that for the offensive lineman, it, it, that call – Happens a lot, you know, due to the uh, just the drawn out nature of the play. Long, longer, hold your, hold your box for longer, you know, not go, go downfield. It's difficult. So it's going to be third down and 20 after that uh, penalty for Lakeside. And that's going to be a false start. Number 61 for Texarkana again. That guy earlier, if you remember correctly, he flew off the ball for an offsides. I mean, he was, he was three, down, three yards downfield before he could blink. Yes, and he once was. again, he hit it. Looks like he caught himself a little bit sooner this time. Only got about a yard or two downfield. But he comes off the ball with some explosiveness. Very ferocious, as I like to say. <laughs> you do like to say. Yep. So in uh, the other world of sports, in the NFL, the uh, Bears are up on the Commanders 17 to nothing. That is on Prime Video. So uh, maybe after this game's over, you want to tune into that. But only after this game. You gotta stick around. This is a real nail biter. Or good. I mean, we're better. Much closer, I would say. You know, Lakeside has a. Excuse me. Sorry. The NFL has a sky cam. We do not have one. And that's all I can say about that. All right. Well, uh, 
So in other world sports, we have the PGA Tour coming up on this Saturday, the Sanders Farm Championship in Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, boy, am I excited for that one. We have uh, Chesson Hadley and Brandon Wu uh, in the top spots right there. And uh, one thing that is also happening is the NBA preseason. Oh, boy. But uh, what's really happening is the uh, MLB playoffs in October. Now, that that's a big one. Yep. That's a big one. You know, my Rangers, Yep. they made it past the first round. But they are going to face the Orioles uh, on Saturday. You know, it's going to be a pretty good big game for them. Good luck to them. Yep. Some other games going on this Saturday are Navy versus North Te Texas, Oklahoma Baptist versus Southern Arkansas, and uh, Arkansas versus Old Miss. I will be at that game, Mac, if anyone in this world cares. So that's cool for me, you know. All right, back to, the, back to the Lakeside game. Collins going to drop back quarterback. He's going to chunk it deep to Jackson in the end zone. It'll be incomplete. That, that is pass interference. Good call there by the ref. Man. That, was, that was some physical coverage. Good, good call there by the ref. You know, he was all up in his face. Yep. No chance to even make a play on the ball right there. I mean, I like physical coverage like that, but, you know, they're going to call that about every time. Uh, not a lot of refs going to let you do that to the receiver. No. Maybe JV Monday night refs will. But you never know. You do never know. So it's going to – it right. will not be an automatic first down. Half uh, the distance to the goal, though. Yep. Which puts Lakeside in first down territory, so it is going to be a first down. It will down. be a first down. But that is one thing different in high school football and junior high football rather than the uh, college and NFL oh. as it is not an automatic first down every time. Thank you for informing me of that, Mac. I did not know that. That is a great thing to know. You are very welcome. And uh, so it'll be Lakeside back here on offense. Q in the backfield looked like there was a little confusion there. Didn't know where he's going. Collins is going to send a man in motion once again. Going to hand it off to him going down the left sideline. He'll be wrapped up by a couple Texarkana defenders. Vincent there on the run to the outside. Uh, you know, we were immediately wrapped up by three Texarkana defenders. You know, the blocks just weren't there for him to make a play. Uh, nice little gain of about three for Lakeside. Yep. So going to be second and seven right here. Well, with it being second and seven here, Lakeside is looking to, you know, they, they can spread the field here. They have a lot of options on offense. Texarkana is going to send some men through the middle with linebackers, but Collins is going to take it down the left side, trying to find a hole, but he'll run over a man. You know, Texarkana showed blitz there, but backed off their men. Probably good, good, good move by them because uh, Collins there took it around the outside, you know, made it a little easier for backers to get around there and make the play. Yep. You know, sending those two, uh, you know, inside backers to the A-gap, that would have been a good play call on, uh, you know, maybe first down, set them back deep. But um, right there would have not helped. True. Trips here for Lakeside. Yep. Collins in the backfield with Jackson. Another oh. false start on Texarkana. I mean, have, has Lakeside called a no-snap play? And Texarkana not jump off the ball all game. I mean, heck, they they could have probably won this game off of false starts all alone. I mean, I doubt it. And they could have made a whole drive out of false starts. That's just something that you know Texarkana they're gonna go look at the film and just uh, check check that off. That's something they have to fix in their future games. I mean, that is just huge, 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 huge. Oh. Well, speaking of huge, it is a uh, first down and three for Lakeside on the goal line. Let's going to see what they're going to draw up here with Collins and Jackson in the backfield. We're going to send Clark in motion. Collins is going to take it down the left side. He's going to try and get in, and he will. Touchdown, Lakeside. You know, Texarkana, they, they sent the house there, but it did not matter. No, it did not. Lakeside in for the touchdown, 24-0. Let's see if they can convert their first two-point play of this game. Yep, I'm on the edge of my seat right now looking forward to this uh, two-point conversion. Let's make it 26, boys. Come on. One thing that is very big here is uh, Mercy Rule. Mercy Rule is 35 uh, points. Correct, David? True. That's, uh, what is that? It's 11 points. That's that's more than half a touchdown. That, that's that about more than half a touchdown. That's about a touchdown and a half, perhaps. Ooh, great way to put that one. So what, seven? Yep, that's correct. That's correct. But 
So, Except uh, number 53 out of here on the field. Maybe a jumbo formation, or did they forget a lineman? Number 53, Chase Prados. Oh, no, they're going to kick a field goal. This is what I look forward to. Let's go, Chase. Come on. Chase to kick. I believe the holder is uh, number 33, Logan Clark. And there's going to be a timeout. One thing we'd like to mention is that uh, Chase Prados, the uh, kicker right here, is a uh, very valuable member to the Lakeside Broadcasting team. His family, uh, you know, David, you would know, assist uh, a lot with the trailer. You want to mention course, th on that? Thank you to the Prados family for assisting with the Lakeside Trailer. These broadcasts would not be possible without you. And, you know, looks like Prados, uh, I don't know if he's going to kick it or not. Looks like he's going up there to get the right ball. Uh, I, I want to see this one go through that price. Make it 25 to nothing. Reminds me of Christmas. Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. I mean, there's nothing better than that. Sure. Indeed. Indeed. So, um, uh, Prados, I believe, is going to stay on the sideline here. Hey, well, that's okay. That's okay. He, he might get another chance later tonight. But another thank you to the Prados family. Yep. God so bless you all. Lakeside is going to go for two here rather than take the PAT. So, uh, yeah, that, that's something they really need to focus on here, just kicking that, or excuse me, getting that extra two points. You see the fans for Texarkana are loading the stands. Uh, very long drive for them. So hey, they are, them they've been coming. a factor this game, all right? I can hear them from over here. But uh, so Jackson's going to look to run on the right side, and he will not get in the end zone. Two-point conversion will be no good. They would have been off sending Prados out there, but, you know, can't turn back now, you know. But hopefully Lakeside scores another touchdown and Prados can get that extra point through the uprights. Yes. But uh, as for now, we'll go, we'll go to kickoff, um, I believe, with Emerson yeah. Collins for kicker rather than Prados. Oh, no. Here, here comes Prados. K kick. The kickoff. One thing we want to mention is that it's, it is October the, um, I believe, 5th, and that means it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, which is the reason you see all the pink on the sideline for the cheerleaders and whatnot. Yes. It's a big deal. We want to give our thoughts and prayers to them. We want to give a quick thank you to our uh, sponsors. Are you ready to feel like a rock star? We offer injections to reverse signs of aging, unheard of weight loss results with our semaglutide compound, MSculpt for incredible muscle tone in your abs, and hormone balancing pellets to get you back in the saddle. Call us for a, a free break consultation right at Rockstar uh, Wellness Clinic. Kicked off and uh, was received by number 17. Whoever you rally your route for, uh, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Like he's been doing all game, uh, not much there. Uh, so uh, Texas County is going to take over at about the 29 yard line. Let's see if Texas County can get some going on offense, maybe come back from this in this game. I'm going to give a quick shout-out to some of my uh, close family members. Reed Story down in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, just want to make sure uh, he gets his name out there for any college recruiters. Congrats, Reed. Yep. Keep the story name going. As uh, Tex Arcana is going to take the ball here. Is he going in. somewhere, man? He's uh, uncommitted as of now, but uh, look for him in the future in uh, college football. Hey, you know, Lion College. Could have an all-star quarterback in the within the next few years. I mean, real missed chance there if they don't get a get a star in Max Story. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll talk about that later. I'm not gonna toot my own toot my own horn during the play, but uh, they're gonna be changing quarterback for Texarkana. But they're gonna hand it off on the right side. It'll be uh, no gain right there. Looks like that new quarterback for Texarkana is number seven. You know the 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 one of the few bright spots of their offense in the first half. Great playmaker, I should add. Like yourself, Mac. Well, thank you, David. It means a lot. 
So it'll be uh, second and 12 right here as there's about 48 seconds left in the third quarter with number seven out quarterback. Another handoff down the right side. Collins, the quarterback, is going to try to make a tackle. Ooh. What a play by Blake whoa, Vincent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a hit. Oh, my gosh. Looks like he was a little shaken up after that play. I mean, who wouldn't? What a hit. You know, Mac, I said it earlier, but you know what? I'm taking back what I said. Blake Vincent just laid the wood. And I, I would like to give my approval for that. That was a great tackle and great hit by number four, Blake Vincent, coming downhill and just laying the wood, like I mean, you said, David. I hope number 30 for Texarkana is okay after that one. So it's going to be a pass here for number seven. He's going to throw it over the middle, and it will nearly be intercepted. You know, I don't, I'm not really sure who he was throwing to there. You know, a little over the heads of every Texarkana offender. Good play by uh, David Franklin Bath right there, trying to get his hands up. You know, good job. Just a dominant performance by this Lakeside team. You know, very reminiscent of the Lakeside ninth grade teams of the past, including the 2020 Lakeside ninth grade undefeated conference championship season that we were a part of. Yes, indeed. And you know, that, that, that has continued through 2021 and 2022. And this, and this grade is looking to keep it going. All right, they, they suffered the only loss that they've had in about four years. Uh, they, a few weeks ago to Lake Hamilton, you know, a real heartbreaking, you know, one-score game. Just absolutely destroyed them. But you know what? They did not let it affect them because they've come out. And look what they've done against this, this tough Texarkana team tonight. Yep. Shut them out. And that's one thing, you know, teams may, you know, rosters may change year through year. But teams say the same. You know, ninth grade, it's not going to change. And, you know, props to this coaching staff. You know, this coaching staff, I believe – from whenever you and me were here in ninth grade, there only there's only one coach that is still the same, and that is Mr. Coach Bowman. Yep, he's the only returning coach, and that's 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 impressive. You know, a completely different coaching staff, and you're still winning a ton of games every year. Yep. So uh, Texas Arcana is going to punt this ball at the round 30-yard line with Kadarius Jackson back deep for Lakeside. Good snap. Punt's going to be tipped and returned by Ryan Latham. Down the right side, he may find the end zone, and he will! Ryan Latham! Oh, my goodness! What a play! What an amazing play by Ryan Latham. Heads up play, coming down the field, and scoring one of the only touchdowns he has all season. You know, you know he was not expecting that ball to come to him, but he had the heads up and a awareness to be like, oh, this ball's coming to me. I'm going to take it to the house. Yes. Ryan Latham, great player, undersized corner, but right there he was ready. <sighs> he deserves plenty of head taps on the sideline. And here comes Chase Prados off the sideline. Everything we've been wishing for, Mac. It's like Christmas. Prentice out here for the kick. Oh. With, with Clark to hold. Chase. Let's go, Chase. Let's go, Chase. It's good! Prados! Good! 31 to 0! Great overall play by Ryan Latham and Chase Prados right there. A great connection. And great, you know, just milestone for both of their careers. The big one-two punch. Yep. I mean, that was that the dagger? I believe it was. That was the dagger. Ooh, boy. So the score now will be 31-0 to zero with uh, 7 minutes and 47 seconds left uh, in this ballgame. Man, that was a great turn of events for Lakeside. As uh, you know, I wasn't expecting that exciting of a you know series of plays to happen. That was the most exciting two minutes of this game I've I've, I've seen. I mean, <laughs> whew. boy, I may need my heart medicine after that one. Another thank you to the Prados family for carrying our trailers and carrying this broadcasting program. Yes, indeed. So Collins is going to be back to kick it for Lakeside. He's going to boot this one pretty deep, and it'll be returned by number 30. He'll muff it, and he'll try and find some room on the right side. He has some burners, 
And number 17, Collins going to uh, take him down. That was a touchdown saving play. You know, number three for Texas Arcana, he showed him off before. And there they were again, those Jets. I mean, like, like a NASCAR. I mean, whew, he was fast down that sideline. You know, great tackle by Collins there. Uh, and uh, and uh, the ball there took an awkward bounce. You know, you thought, oh, this is going to be muffed. You know, maybe, maybe Lakeside could recover it. Uh, but 30 uh, with enough awareness, uh, not, not as much as Ryan Latham there, but enough awareness to uh, pick up, back up the ball and get, you know, another 15 yards downfield. Yep. So it uh, looks like Lakeside is going to make some subs here and on defense as the score is 31-0. So it'll be exciting to see how um, Texarkana is going to respond here with these new players in. As there's going to be a little com miscommunication with the snap, and 45 will be taken down in the backfield. 40 45, there's that bulldozer again, you know. That bulldozer back dragged uh, the Lakeside defender about, <laughs> I don't know, five yards. Uh, pretty impressive play, you know. A little bit a little bit of emotion after the play. You know, it's tough being down 31-0, and Ryan Litton just took one to the house on you. That was a big play by number 52, Thatcher Nolan. That will be a loss on the play. It will be second in about 11 for Texarkana. You know, pr uh, props to Thatcher there, hanging on to the, uh, the big old bruising back and getting the tackle. Yep. Another handoff to the big bruiser down the right side. And good job by team tackling by Lakeside. You know, it's going to take team tackling to get this big man on the ground. Uh, you know, Lakeside defenders are looking there, clapping their hands. They're pumped up. Yep. You know, because uh, they, they, know, they know they're doing good. Looks like Lakeside's going to bring in a completely different D-line than they've had all game. You know, that's, that's how you know they're getting comfortable. I believe that was Chase Prados on the stop. The kicker and star defense lineman. So it'll be third and 11 here for Texarkana. They're going to send a man in motion to the left side. Quarterback's going to take the snap, look to his right, deliver, and it'll be low and incomplete. You know, if you're Texarkana here, you know it's fourth down long. You could go for it, you know, try and, try and get the first down here. But this game, I, in my opinion, you know, it's, it's close to over. Six minutes left, you know, 31 points down. That's that's at least four four touchdowns you got to get you know four or more possessions looks like you're just gonna punt it you know yep. except defeat well you don't want to do it quite yet you know we, you've heard of twenty eight three but have you heard of thirty one to zero no uh, and I, I don't think I'm gonna hear about it uh because I you know what I say I say Lakeside puts another eight points up on the board you know seven so let's see if Lakeside can have some uh, reoccurring luck here but this punt will be it will be uh, not blocked but. Not returned either. Two good bounce there for Texarkana. Only about a 15-yard punt, but it bounced off the ground and moved, moved about another 20 down the field. Uh, good, good punt for a ninth grader. So it'll be uh, first down Lakeside at the 24-yard line with uh, possibly a new offense in. Looks like Lakeside's going to put in their second string here. Uh, yeah, I mean, Lakeside's... Dominating, so they might as well. And even then, I believe our second string can, you know, play play ball with anybody, honestly. And especially with this Tex Arcana team, I think we can still go down school, still go to down skill. Excuse me. Still go downfield and score. Thank, thank you, David. Thank you, David. Man, I'm just uh, stuttering. Had some wings. Yeah, it's an earlier. exciting game. It's an exciting oh, game. Oh yeah, man. I used all my good calls earlier. But uh, you know. Only seven seconds left on the play clock, so they're going to have to hurry to the line here or call a timeout. Hurry, they're hurry, two, one. They're going to have to call a timeout. And or they're going to take the penalty. Yep. Looks like they're going to take the penalty. Uh, they have enough faith in their offense to get this five yards and not burn a, a timeout. So it's going to make it uh, first down 15 after that small little penalty right there. So... Any uh, thoughts on the game so far, David? You know, just another dominant performance of the Lakeside ninth grade team. Uh, it's really all you've seen from this Lakeside ninth grade team the past four years. So, uh, uh, oh, fumbled snap. Oh, boy. Uh, not what you want to see from the second string. Not giving your coach much faith to keep your guys out there. Oh, man. Not what you want to see. Now it's going to be second and very long. Yep, so, uh, ooh, man, that'll really back him up here on offense. Good, good recovery, though, from, from uh, good awareness by the lakeside halfback there. 
Uh, hey. Looks like it was number 22. And now at quarterback is number 11, James Hall. So let's see what he can cook here. That's number 22, Jaquay McLean on the recovery. Good awareness by him. Jane Lester in at, uh, excuse me, Lane Jester in at receiver on the bottom of the screen. There'll be a handoff on the right side. Good little gain right there. Number 22, Jaquay McLean. Good run there by McLean, uh, giving coach, you know, no reason to not put him in there and maybe halfback, you know, stop all, so many QB runs and maybe give us a halfback. Maybe. So it's going to be third and 28 here for Lakeside as they really need to get something going here. It's going to be third and 21. David, what would you uh, call here? You know what? I, I'm i going to call a pass play here, you know, see what my second string QB can do and my second string receivers, you know. Give someone a chance to make a play here, you know, give them some more uh, minutes in the in the beginning of the games. Might as well. So uh, they're going to hurry to the line here, about five seconds left in the play clock. Hall's going to hand the ball off. Ooh, a little fumble right there. But late side's going to recover it. Hey, it. It's a fumble, you know, it's just not something you want to see from your second string. Yeah, you, know, you want to send them out there to try and make a play, you know. Uh, see something out of them maybe, and you know, just not what you want to see. So it looks like Lakeside is going to bring in the punt team here as the play clock runs down. Yeah, one thing, I think they're just trying to milk the clock right now. Uh, just, you know, not let Texas Arcana score any unneeded points. Yeah, you know, shutout, shutout feels real good. And uh, that looks like they're, what they're trying to achieve right here. So Lakeside is going to take a timeout to avoid the penalty. Um, and we'd like to give a quick thank you to our sponsors, Reliance Bank, Rockstar Wellness Clinic, and National Park College. Whoever you rally your root for, Reliance Bank is your biggest fan. Our customers always take the center spot with easy online and mobile banking. No lines, no waiting, and no second place customers. When the rules changed, we changed our game with more ways than ever to access your account. Everyone comes in first. A local bank with a modern approach. Reliance Bank. Open an account online now at rely.bank. There's a place for you at National Park College. NPC understands that one size doesn't fit all and everyone deserves an opportunity to find their place. Flexible class options, in person and online help you set the that so that, that, while we were on commercial break there was a so while we were on commercial break there was a little miscommunication on the punt right there it was blocked uh, at the front uh, by a line and it went out of bounds at the five yard line so it'll be Tix Arcano's ball within the red zone <sighs> you know Lakeside they they're gonna show us off their red zone defense for the first time all night. Uh, let's see let's see if they can get a big stop here to complete the shutout. Looks like they're gonna keep their second string in there though. You know, give give those second string boys a chance, uh, make a move, make a play, yep. see something big. Let's so, go, boys. So I mean, you know, you know this nothing here is gonna be change the game, but this is really just gonna help Lakeside in the future with their uh, future opponents. Maybe go Hope Queen possibly. Who knows. Big games for the ninth graders. Yep. Those are the, I believe the last two games for them. Last two games for them to decide the conference champs. You know, Lakeside's looking to win, win conferences here, as I'm sure always. So, uh, 33 will score for Texarkana after the pass by number 15. <sighs> so close to making the touchdown saving tackle there, Lakeside defender. Uh, looks like there's going to be no shutout tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Might have a man down, but he'll be all right. So it'll be 31 to 6, waiting on the extra point or two point conversion by Texarkana. Oh, here is something you don't see very often, folks a swinging gate formation. Whoa! You know, Lakeside, they've probably seen this on film, so they're, they're ready to, uh, to, to adjust to it and, uh, and defend it. But you know, there's always something fun to see. Let's, see. let's see what Texarkana does with this opportunity. Very strange formation, as we see 15, the quarterback, at uh, center, and he's going to throw it to his running back, 
and he will not get in. Very close to making it in. You know, it looks like he made it on the ground in the end zone, but they're going to call him down short. Uh, you know, I, I have no comment on that play call. You know, I'm not going to complain at all. You know, don't want Texas Arcana to get the first two point conversion in the night. Uh, hopefully, Lakeside, you know, maybe their second string gets something going here and uh, maybe put another seven up on the board. Yep. So that's going to make it 31 6 still with uh, two minutes left to play in this game. With, uh, you know, everything but the final score done. So. Lakeside, you know, still going to have the second string offense in. Probably going to see if they can whip something up here as Texarkana will most likely try and get a, a uh, onside kick here. You know, Lakeside just made a, a pretty big mistake right there. They, they put some wind in the Texarkana sails. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't come back to bite them. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't picture it, but hopefully Lakeside can just put an end to this game. Hey, speaking of wind, how about this weather we're having, David? Beautiful. Beautiful. That, that's the one word to describe it. You know, it's cool. It's not steaming hot like it's been the past few, past month, <laughs> five months it feels like, six months, you know, long time. Uh, this, this is the best football playing weather you can get. Speaking of cool and breezy, uh, Lakeside will take the ball at their own 29-yard line as the offense will try and get something started here. Yeah, you know, th th we're, finally, we're finally feeling the winds of change, that fall breeze coming in. Such, such, real, just, just reminds you of a song I know, The Boys. Oh, man. That was a favorite of the uh, Lakeside... Um, football team been a been a favorite of ours for for many years you know on the pregame playlist uh, good song the boys of football. <laughs> <laughs> all right with that uh with that little joke underway we're gonna be a handoff by lakeside S just swallowed up by the texarkana defenders texarkana swallowed that one whole Yeah, like you said, David, good, good job by uh, the defense just pursuing that one. Um, it's going to be about second and 14 for Lakeside after that loss. It looks play. like Texas kind of has all their starters still in. Maybe a few backups in there uh, getting some looks on them. But, uh, you know, they really swallowed that one up. Good job defending that run. Lakeside, Lakeside's just trying to, uh, to run out, milk out this clock. With uh, 12 seconds left on the play clock, looks like they're going to let it run down. Before they uh, finish off this game. Yep. So less than a minute in this game uh, for Lakeside. Another handoff. Counter right here down the right side. And he'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Lakeside may be able to get one more good play right here. And uh, that'll be the ball game. There's only 36 seconds left on the clock uh, as it runs out. That's not going to be the ball game. Looks like Lexus is going to have to run one more play. Uh, Texarkana putting in some different uh, some different players. Uh, Lexus is just trying to shut this game out. Uh, finish it up, wrap it up, wipe your hands of it, and go on home to a nice 31-6 victory. Let's see what's going to happen here. 15 seconds left the clock. Hall, that quarterback. Is this the dagger? Bang! Lakeside wins at 31-6. A great game by Lakeside, dominating it all, cylinders of the game. And that final play says it all, Mac. Yes, it does. So Lakeside will take this win in the books as they look forward to Hope next week on the road and to Queen at home following that. Thank you for uh, tuning in this junior high football broadcast. I'm Mac Story. And I'm David LaSalle. God bless and go Rams!